I was actually thinking of doing this whole video in Rewind to mess with you since it's Echo's turn. And it would be really easy for me to do so, but you guys would kill me. To counter him, pick someone like LeBlanc who can distort out of his stun and ult damage every single time. Diana for her mobility and burst is also pretty amazing. And Cho'Gath who can simply eat him before he has a chance to ult make amazing counters. Hammerdinger for his turrets versus melee champions. Cassidy for his ult and mobility. And Cassiopeia for her immobilizing pool make other good counters as well. Echo's passive makes him apply resonance stacks to enemies and at 3 stacks will also make him deal extra damage. If he manages to stack this versus an enemy champion, then he also gains extra movement speed. His Q makes him send out a device in a target direction that deals damage and will also slow up its speed at the end of the path, slowing enemies that are in its path at that moment, before flowing back to him and deal damage again. His W passively makes him deal extra damage with his autos to enemies below 30% HP and when activated will create a sphere in a target location that will detonate and slow enemies. If Echo enters the sphere, then it will shield him and also stun enemies currently in inside it for 1.75 seconds. His E will make him dash a short distance and grant his next auto attack extra range, also making him blink to the target chosen, dealing extra damage. Finally, his ultimate passively creates a shadow of him that will always be 4 seconds behind him. When activated, then Echo will blink to the shadow and deal damage to surrounding enemies as well as heal him for an amount plus a percentage of damage he took for the last 4 seconds. As for spells, he'll either take teleport to play safe or ignite to help his burst out. Either one, you can take the same and use your preferred playstyle. In terms of power spikes, his level 3 is enough to go in on you, so expect an engage, but he becomes quite strong once he levels up to 6 and mid game hits. Hexec Protobelt will help him get near enemies to do his thing, and Lich Bane makes his autos after abilities really hurt. Thanks for tuning in, good luck in your match, and remember, you can track his ultimate damage dealing zone by keeping an eye on his shadow. You will have to dodge his sphere when he activates it, so keep walking away from an obvious zone, and don't forget about the shield it provides when you're pummeling him. Ultimately, have fun doing it.